Hi everyone, welcome to our third ELAC meeting for Granite Hills High School. Today's February 22nd, 2023, and we are going to review uh, our LPAC testing that we're currently in and our reclassification process and how to assist your students here at Granite Hills High School, some tips that may uh, benefit your student. Uh, our EL team uh, is made up of three coordinators, Lisa Stately, Kathy Magical, and myself, Erin Burke. And Enrique Gonzalez is our VP who oversees uh, English language learners. Uh, so the LPAC testing uh, is a required test for all of our English language learners. They must take it every year until they are reclassified as English proficient. The test measures the skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Uh, we began testing students at the beginning of this month and will continue to test students through the beginning of March. Most of our students are testing in their current ELD classes. Uh, in order to be considered for reclassification, students must score a four uh, on the LPAC exam in order to be considered for reclassification in that fall. Here is a breakdown of the LPAC performance levels. Uh, students scoring a one on the LPAC are considered um, in this emerging or beginning language development. The second one is this uh, expanding region. If students are scoring a two or a three on the LPAC, they're, they're in this expanding uh, language development region. And the last one, which we're trying to get all of our students to this level four bridging um, English proficiency in order to reclassify. Uh, a part of the reclassification process is not only scoring a four on the LPAC, but students also need to score a score of 220 on the NWEA. Students are tested that on that uh, test during the fall and spring. In addition, they are required to earn a C or better in two of the following classes. Uh, English, math, science, and social science. So if a student got an A in English and a B in their math class, uh, that would meet the two core class requirement for reclassification process. Um, the reclassification ceremony is coming up next week on Wednesday, March 1st at Mount Miguel High School at 6 p.m. Um, and we look forward to seeing you guys there and celebrating all of our students who have reclassified this year. How you can help uh, your student on campus. Uh, if you have access to Infinite Campus, you are able to check your student's grades. You can check their attendance. You can also look at transcript information and teacher information on Infinite Campus. In order to access Infinite Campus, your student information system, you will need the email you registered for, registered your students with, and then you should have set a password. If you need to reset your password, uh, we will be sharing this um, these slides with you, and you can go ahead and click this reset button, which will help you to reset your Infinite Campus. And I do want to show everyone um, how to access from our website, Infinite Campus. Um, if you would like to provide some additional information, we would greatly appreciate it. Any questions you may have, you can click the English, Arabic, or Spanish surveys for us to go ahead and complete. And then let me just show you where you would go to access Infinite Campus information. Here is our Granite Hills homepage. If you go to granite.guhsd.com, you can go ahead, this will take you to, I'm sorry, granite.guhsd.net, this will take you to our homepage and you can click on parents. Um, and there should be a link on here for, 
point here on the right hand side um, and this will help you where it says for appearance you can request access um, and this is where you're going to get that up-to-date information on your students attendance um, any behavioral concerns uh, grades um, really anything you can email teachers from this uh, student information system as well and you can download it as an app to your phone um, we will also send out uh, the coordinator's email addresses for you to get a hold of us okay um, thank you so much uh, we will see you for our next meeting on may 3rd